We're going to be repairing these cracks all over the floor with CFS 343, which is a low viscosity epoxy designed to penetrate into cracks and glue them back together again. There's multiple cracks. You can see them all over the place here. We diamond ground the floor to expose all the cracks and clean the surface the best we can. We're going to fill it and overfill it with the epoxy prior to putting down our epoxy coatings. Okay, so some of these large cracks we fill with sand first. And this is a real fine sand. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we have to do that. Otherwise, the epoxy just keeps running out the bottom. So this just helps the epoxy clot in there. So there's only a couple of real wide cracks. It's basically this one here. And then over here, there's a pretty wide one. So we're just going to pre-fill those. And then uh, we're going to show how we fill these with the rapid set epoxy. Okay, so we're getting ready to fill all these cracks. This is the uh, rapid set epoxy that we're going to use. It's actually CFS 343. It's a, an extremely rapid set epoxy. The important thing about this material is it's real thin viscosity, so it penetrates down into the bottom of the cracks, which is extremely important when you're trying to repair a crack so it doesn't come back. So you'll see me mix this up. I have ketchup bottles. These have, actually have markings on them for volume. So I just marked 100 and 200 milliliters. So it's a one-to-one -one mix. So I'll pour the one in and I'll pour the other in, shake it and move very quickly. You have about 45 seconds to get rid of this stuff and you'll see it in real time. And then we'll put it back on uh, time-lapse so you can see me go around afterwards. So there's our mix, put your cap on. Shake this. Now all these cracks are gonna get ground again. So what we're trying to do is literally overfill these and then we're gonna grind them smooth again. So you're not trying to make this pretty. You're simply just filling the cracks. And you'll actually feel when you're doing this, this jug is gonna get hot because this material sets up quicker in bulk when they refer to a pot life of epoxy. That's what this is, it's in bulk. And it sets up quicker, faster chemical reaction. Now this is also those, uh, the cracks that we put the sand in. And again, that's just helping clot the uh, epoxy in there so it doesn't run right out the bottom. And this is thin enough, it will penetrate through that sand down to the bottom of the crack. Okay, so that was one. Okay, forgive me for being so sweaty and disgusting. It's like 90 degrees today, so uh, it's very humid and extremely hot. So we filled all these cracks. I'm gonna flip this camera in and show you exactly what we're dealing with there. Okay. So all these cracks that were all over the floor, this is like a road map right now. We filled them and overfilled them with the epoxy. And you can see they're full. Now all of these cracks we have to grind with the hand grinder yet to make them smooth before we put our coating down. Uh, because even epoxy doesn't like to stick to the shiny stuff. So we're gonna grind it all by hand and then we're gonna put our prime coat down. So everything has been ground now, and what you see is where we put the thin viscosity epoxy in the cracks, it penetrates into the concrete, so it actually stains the concrete a little bit darker. And then we hand ground everything, which you saw in time lapse there. So that's the weird pattern you see on the floor. But this will all be nice and smooth when we're done. So we're getting ready to put the prime coat down now.